What's up everybody, Renfail here, coming back to you again with another Baldur's Gate 3 video and a little cattail that just went by me because Smeagol is jumping up into his chair. Um, we're back with another quick tip here for Baldur's Gate 3 and full credit for this one goes to Mujin. I've got a link to his channel down below in the description, so make sure to go click that. Go over to his channel, he's also doing Baldur's Gate 3 content and he is uh, part of the multi-stream multiplayer group that we're doing for Baldur's Gate 3 along with Babylonia, but he's the one who actually brought this to my attention, and I felt like a complete newbie when he said this because I didn't know this, and I had been playing early access for close to three years, and I had been doing this the long way, and and I felt like such a, yeah, oh, it's so hilarious. So previously when I was running around using the waypoint system, the fast travel system that they have in here, I would open up my map and, and, and look for one of the points over here and come to it and say, hey, you know, there's the, I need to travel over there. And I would come in here and I would scroll over and I would go find it on the map. In this case, I know it's down here somewhere. Let's go into tactical view. Um, it's down over in here, right there, right? So I would click it, and I would then wait for my characters to travel there. And I would follow them, and it'd be cool, and we'd do some adventuring, and we might have some, um, you know, combat along the way. Um, and it's still a quicker way to get around the world than just running to the entry and exit points and then going back. So I would, uh, I would run down here, and I would go in here and click on this. Oops, come back. And I would click the Ancient Runet Circle, and then I would bring up this screen right here, which is essentially just your map screen. And over here on the right, you would see the waypoints. You would click the appropriate waypoint that you've unlocked, and then go to that point. Um, however, there's a much quicker and easier way to do this. And I really wish I would have known about this um, a long time ago, because I spent three years doing it the way I just showed you, and there is a much easier way. So out of just pure curiosity let's just go over here a little bit pretend like we're in a completely different part of the world all you have to do to travel around and if you already knew this you can make fun of me please make fun of me because i'm sitting here making all these guides and i've been playing early access for all this time and i never freaking knew that you could just open up your map like so go over to the right hand side and just click on any of the places you want to go to and boop you're there. So let's just click the Zintarum hideout. And we're there. Oh, you want to go back to uh, the goblin camp? That might have been a bad decision, by the way. <laughs> we may have had to get eaten alive by going to the goblin camp. Um, can, we, can we do it while we're in combat? No, we cannot in fast travel. But still, um, you can jump around and... and quickly get around places um, without needing to physically click on the ancient rune circle to travel and I did not know that so here I've been for the past you know three years running around the map going hey I see the waypoint on my map let's do the travel to there it might take you know 90 seconds over it's much quicker to just open up your map click on the one you want to go to and you're there now of course you do have to first unlock the waypoint by discovering it so you can only do this system if you've already unlocked the map waypoints those rune circles which i don't know if they're going to keep that name in the launch version or not but this is one of those quick and easy tips everybody i really wish i would have known this earlier i feel like an absolute newbie for not knowing that it works this way because i was always just traveling around and going you know the the other way and it was the long way the wrong way so again, shout out to Mujin for being the one to let me know that you can do it this way. It's much quicker. It's much easier. Again, uh, follow the link down below. Just click on his name. It'll take you over to his channel. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon on his channel. Do the same here, of course. And don't forget to stick around because we got lots more content coming your way. Lots more Baldur's Gate 3 guides. All the other stuff we do here on the channel. Check out all the other playlists, etc. Join the Discord. I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Hopefully in the next live stream as well. Until next time, stay safe. Happy gaming.